All right, welcome to We Ain't No Stupids. It is me, the Zen Master, to my left. Uh, B, Booby, General Boss, whatever you want to call me. All right, to my right. Mr. J underscore Cruz 88 on all platforms. Hit me up for that Mortal Kombat work. Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, Mortal Kombat tournament next. It's going to be Mortal Kombat 10. Or is it 10 or is it X? I don't be. It's Roman numeral X. It's... Uh, that's 10. I mean, like, Mega Man X was not Mega Man 10, so don't give me that goddamn back talk, motherfucker. Don't. Well, you know what? I'm going <laughs> yeah. to say, no, go go say X because you can't even get X now. It's XL because if you buy it right now, it comes with all the DLC characters and shit. So that's what XL is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause I saw that for like $20 or some shit. It's like really cheap right now. That might be the DLC because I, I don't know. It might. I, don't know, I ain't looked at it. Uh, Cause so, I know, I know when the DLC first dropped, it was like it was like XL is like season pass. So do so would they? Uh, I'll check the case before I fuck around and buy that shit. Cause I gotta know what's going on before I throw the tournament together. I'll buy that shit. Yeah, Cause I mean, like, I mean, if anything, I can put my profile on your PlayStation. Cause well, I'd have to buy two more characters, but I bought. It dropped eight more characters, and I bought six of them. So it just works like that, cause you know I'm new to this whole actually gaming online shit so I, you can just put your profile in there and then we put the game in on my shit yeah cause it's online I fuck with so that. you I just put my profile up there and then all of my shit will be unlocked how did we do Street Fighter did we have we had guests no we just yeah yeah mm-hmm. we just did the guests there no I don't think that'll matter we're playing on we're not playing online so I don't think that'll matter I'd have to buy the two more characters I don't know we can talk about that cause if we, if we get people that Guaranteed people that's coming talk about what characters they want unlocked. They want the other two unlocked. I don't care buying the other two. Them shits ain't like two dollars a piece. They yeah, might well just go ahead and buy. But they them. drop. Yeah, they drop because they drop four characters and then they drop four characters. And I bought the second set of four. I didn't buy the first set of four. Oh, so which two are missing? With me, I think Tanya and Tremor. I think I'm so out of the game. Nigga, I know Tanya. I don't know either yeah. one of those motherfuckers. She sounded like a Molina clone. Is she one of the Molina bitches? Nah, she kind of, but nah. She's like, she dope though. I might buy her just off the strength of, like, that bitch played dope. I don't want to play with her. But I might I might just fuck around and buy them anyway. Spread you let that one slide there, boo. Nah, I'm not like, right. I'm going to let that go. <laughs> nah, she was a real person. I'd fuck. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we know that about you. You be fucking cartoon characters and shit. I don't be fucking cartoon characters you and shit. Cartoon characters? I, I cartoon was. Characters, man. <laughs> what was the fucking what was the movie? Cool Cool World. Yeah, Cool, cool World. World. <laughs> oh, that was the worst movie ever. Don't even matter. <laughs> I don't even know what that movie was about. I don't remember it. I just know that bitch was bad. Which one, the blonde one or the brunette? It was in the brunette. I don't even remember the brunette. Yeah, because Brad the Pitt had the brunette. I remember the blonde one. Short hair, Jane. Yeah, that's the only one I remember. Yeah, okay. I gotta look that up. I don't know, cause that movie was it wasn't. It was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Shit. Cause I know the blonde one from that, and then I know uh, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Fine ass. Yeah, so is Jessica Rabbit and Chun Li the only ones that get a pass? The rest of them, I hell no. Nah, the Brazilian bitch on Street Fighter was bad too. No, nah, but I say like the rest of y'all, the rest of them, y'all niggas is weird, but those two I understand. Oh, you <laughs> understand? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, uh, Chrissy from Tekken. That bitch looked like that. She was modeled right. I'm that's that a up. bad bitch. I mean, I don't know that for certain, but look at her. That's a bad bitch. That's what I feel about the, what's her name? The uh, chick with the globe on Street Fighter. Oh, the one that walked with the Egyptian swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> the ain't nothing wrong with a bad bitch that's a cartoon. They're not real. You want fucking prostitutes in Grand Theft Auto? No, I wasn't, actually. Why not? Don't you get your health back a little bit? Did it? I think you do get your health back for that. I, I started with just... money back. <laughs> I mean, you always get your money back. <laughs> now, I remember this time I went to a, it was a children's birthday party. And I think, like, I had went to um, leave <laughs> before I left. That's a horrible setup. I know, it was. <laughs> oh, no, no, it gets, it gets worse. Now, but I was, uh, I was, I was about to leave, and I, um... I asked, like, I was in the kitchen with the grown folks. I'm like, yo, where the boys at? And they was like, yo, they in the, um, they in the back room playing the video game. 
So I walk in there, and it's like the oldest kid had to be like 11 or 10 years old. It's like a room full of boys. Like I said, the oldest one was like 11. And they playing Grand Theft Auto on the fucking Xbox One passing. No, it was about Xbox 360s before the one came out. They passed the controller around and shit. It was Vice City. And I'm just like, y'all in here playing Grand Theft. They mean like gl glued to the screen. Vice City, though? Yeah, it was Vice City. And, uh, you know, they re released that shit for the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. And um, so I speak to all the boys, high fives and all that shit, then I leave. And uh, on my way out, one of the ladies in the kitchen was like, So what the boys doing? I said, They stealing cars and killing prostitutes. <laughs> then all of them looked at me like, Oh, this like, like I'm tripping or something, but that's really what the fucking, that's what they doing. Like, yeah, it's not you know. mad at me for saying this shit, but you ain't going in there and. You know they play a video. Like, yeah, right? you know so what I'm saying? They stealing cars and, and, and killing kill prostitutes. That's, that's what they doing. That's what they doing. Yeah, fuck. What you mad at me for? You know, cut the game off. You mad about it? Fuck. No, yeah, just. Because he could have just walked out and said, killing people. Then walked out. Yeah. <laughs> With chainsaws. Yeah. That game was dope. All right, first question I want to ask. So, uh, if you won the lottery, would you keep working? I've said it all my life. I would. Just give me something to do. I would, too. Damn, damn so there's no number that could get you to quit your job? No. I mean, I... I it's... Because it, well, I'm, I'm in a spot. I, I, I generally like what I do. I just, it's just where I'm at. Now, would I tell people I want? No. You got to pay extra for that. Hell no. Yeah, no, yeah. You got to pay extra for that. But tell Stay me. anonymous. You got to pay extra for that shit? Mm -hmm. That's law. Well, fuck it then. I got to pay extra for that. So shit. if I want a crazy high amount, I pay that extra stay anonymous and take my ass right back to work the next day. <laughs> like, no, I'm fucking happy. My tolerance would be, like, nowhere, yeah. though. Could you imagine the enjoyment, though, you get from work knowing you ain't really yeah. the act of fucking be here? Yeah. Like, I'm doing this off the strip, but I just wanted to get up and do something today. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I, I would. Because legit, I mean, even now, when I have days off, <laughs> I don't do shit. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it gives me something to wake up to. Cause literally, yeah. I mean, so what is your number? Though? Like, what is, your, what is your actual number of, if I make, if I want this much, stay my ass at home. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> It'd have to be at least 300 million. Damn. It'd have to be something that I could just take, invest half of it, and live off that investment, and then just be able to Enjoy blow the rest. rest. Yeah. yeah, like not necessarily blow, but like but be able just to do just some blow shit. the rest. Yeah. I, I, like, I yeah, I don't have a amount. Money leaves too fast. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Money it's, it's hard. Way too fucking fast. It's hard. I learned my lesson with my little bit of change. Money leaves too fast. I, I ain't doing it. I'm, I was like, like, yeah, I'm going to book me a 5.30 flight in the morning like to travel somewhere. I'm setting up my businesses that I need to set up, that I want to set up, like dream shit, that shit that makes me happy shit. And then once they start generating like I need them to, but also real estate... Well, yeah, that's part of the make me happy shit too. But then once this shit start popping, then I might consider digging into that full time. But it was even then that wouldn't be quitting work. That'd just be changing work. Like as far as leaving a job. Well, I'm now, talking about like your job. Leaving a job I'm at now. Yeah. I'm talking about like as far as putting an application into a motherfucker, or like leaving your job or going to. You know what I'm saying? Like. I was I hit the lottery. The first thing I'm doing is investing, start my own business, and I consider that work. Shit, leave my job. You ain't yeah. Got, yeah, you ain't got to worry about me. I'm not buying a new spot. I ain't been doing shit to, to at least a year and a half in. I got to see what these taxes about, baby. Yeah, that's taxes when taxes is fucking real. Yeah, and that's one thing that I said. Um, I'd always said if I won the lottery, I would keep working for a year, just because I like I want to make a clear decision when I finally make the decision to spend money, because it's like. If you don't know what you're doing, let's see the real saying. amount. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. Let's see the real. Because they're gonna take like forty percent. Yeah. Get more than that, but yeah. And that's that's if you let them throw your name out. They take about forty percent. They, they, man, them taxes fucking nasty. <laughs> taxes is nasty. Hey, y'all ever hear about the um the child molester that won the lottery? No. No. This was like 
<laughs> it was like 2009 or some shit. But it was like this dude was a convicted child molester, and he got out of prison. And it was like pretty soon after he got out of prison, he played the lottery. And he won like some mega million type shit. He wants a stupid amount of money. And people were like trying to petition to get him to get the money back. <laughs> and uh, give the shit back. Yeah, basically, and that's what everybody, that's what they were saying. It's like we can't make them give the money back. Like, there's, there's nothing you can do. So they started petitioning to. Uh, I don't know where, like, uh, where where I left the story off at. Cause it was like I said, it was about 2009. Where I left the story off at, they were trying to petition to make it so child molesters can't play the lottery. Like, if you're Murder. a sex offender, yeah. felons can't play the lottery. You was out here selling dope. We know what you gonna do with that lottery money. You go out here try to flip a bird, nigga. <laughs> he got damn weed. They can't. Huh? Felons can't play the lottery? They can. No, they can. It's oh. just, that's what they're going to have to petition. It got to be all a felon thing. But then, who the fuck going to try to figure out who's a felon and who's not? Like, now. Oh, yeah, no, that's the just, case. You got to go through a pre-screening process just to yeah. buy a lottery ticket. No, 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 no. Because, you know, see, the way that shit would work is you can add a fucking lottery ticket. Your ass can't cash it in. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's dirty. Still get my money. For instance, right true. now, if I go buy a winning lottery ticket right now, I'm not cashing it in my name. Because my baby mama gonna try to get a piece. He said that out loud. Yes. Yes. I mean, wait, that's I mean, there's, real, there's no type I mean, of legality that can be held against me for that. Yeah, get that shit yeah. right into here, yo. We rich. <laughs> <laughs> you cast this shit. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Told y'all we ain't no stupids. <laughs> <laughs> you cast this shit. My baby mama ain't getting a piece. She ain't gonna get a chance to start no paperwork to get a piece. You a house husband of Virginia. You know I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit up Mona Scott. Yo, we got a new TV show on them works. <laughs> got a new TV show on them works. Ain't nobody in VA doing this know, How shit. does that work, though? Because it's like... When it comes to marriage and the whole child support thing, like isn't it like a joint no. thing? Okay, it's not? I mean, I'm not married anyway, but no. Okay. But I mean, like... You might want to lock that down if you win the lottery more to cash ticket out. I mean, yeah. Okay. I'll kill that motherfucker. <laughs> Cause what? When you first said that shit, I was thinking like, out again. <laughs> "Hey, I'll be in this motherfucker like Chris Rock." But I understand. <laughs> now, nah, cause it's like uh, when you first said, that, I was thinking like, "What's stopping a motherfucker from?" Cashing it and then hauling ass because I mean, like, they gonna have all the millions, ain't like you can, you you can catch, catch them. Up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they can travel the world three times, you, know nigga, you ain't catching them. <laughs> See, all the way in motherfucking Africa somewhere, straight cold chilling with your goddamn money. What you gonna do? Just stand up, somebody out, gotta die, stand in the ocean, shaking your fist and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be up in jail, like, yup. Oh. Anyway, so, you ain't no choice. So what do y'all think about um, the sex offender thing? Should sex offenders be allowed to play the lottery? That's scary. It's, it, I mean, it, it, it's scary sounding. But, I mean, uh, it's the lottery, man. It's you know what, what's stopping the sex offender from going to Vegas? Is he, is he still allowed to go to Vegas? Huh? Huh? There's skills to that shit, though. I mean, shit. Skills that he what is being a sex obtained being locked up. What's being a sex offender got to do with Vegas? Like, is that a real thing? No. No, but he's saying the same thing as, like, playing a lottery, so, going to Vegas. Man, you can go to jail for a sex offender shit and on some stupid shit. Oh. Yeah, because well, yeah. uh, I mean, nah, I ain't going to say stupid, but... Yeah, stupid shit. Some, like, some, you get caught pissing in a school... Just, no, just in school pu- property. Just yeah. in public, you're a sex offender now. Oh, pissing in public? Pissing in public. Yeah, and then my girlfriend, 17... I'm 18, we have a bad breakup, yeah. now I'm a sex offender. Yeah. Mm. You know, we 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 a week apart, but now I'm a sex offender. You know, yeah. stuff you like get, that. It's just you get dressed with the blinds open, nigga, and some kids see you, Yeah, yeah. sex offender. You got to put flyers up and knock on doors, nigga. It's real shit out here. Yeah, it's crazy. I go piss in my backyard because I don't feel I like going in the in house. I like a motherfucker. Yeah. So it's like... It, so it's not only the sex offender thing is too easy to get. I feel like felony because like it's a lot of fucking felonies. And once you get a felony, you're a felony. Felonies are easy as fuck to get. Yeah. So I'm like, so with all these fucking restrictions and loss of privileges they put on felons, it's like that shit just. It, am I the only one that feels a lot of that shit is unfair? It is. Yeah, Everyone knows the criminal system is all fucked up. 
And cause I feel like they need to change that shit so it's like your crime is what's dictating what privileges you lose. Like there's no way a motherfucker like a violent crime and then you can't vote. It's like what? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I understand. Yeah, I don't believe in um, mandatories as far as, like, certain shits are mandatories. Like, for instance, a DUI, first time DUI is, like, mandatory five days. Second time is 10, time, 10 days. Third time is, like, 30 days, years. Like, shit like that, like, murders and shit. Certain shit, certain crimes are, like, mandatory. Like, yo, you got a fucked up ass circumstance, but the law says I got to give you this much time minimum. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. This, stu- this much time minimum. Basically getting rid of the point of having a fucking judge in the first place. Yeah. Mandatory minimums are like bullshit. Certain shit. Because, like, I mean, they, they do got uh, maximums also. So, like, you do some real fucked up shit. It's like, yo, I can only give you three years. Like, you need to be locked up for the rest of your life. But I can only give you three years. So... A lot of that shit is fucked up. But yeah, I mean, shit. Anybody should be able to play the fucking lottery. It's the fucking lottery. Your chances are winning are like, what, one in 500 yeah. million. And what difference is it if, if you got caught or you didn't? That's the difference? Yeah, that's kind of that, like... That, that's the difference? That's why I was bringing up the whole pre-screening process yeah, that's, before buying that's a That's the ticket. difference, though, right? You got caught and, you, and, and that person didn't. Yeah, yeah that's kind of like all... That's like the reason that all of us aren't criminals. Because <laughs> we and nobody got caught with their bullshit. That's true. Nigga. You show me no, something. I'm not a criminal. That ain't no, never been a crime. Oh. I ain't got no criminal record. That's not a criminal record. But did you ever do a crime? Hell yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's the point. We just ain't got caught. I like illegal guns. I like illegal drugs. Some shit I can do. Some shit I can't do. You motherfuckers is down 30 points. I love my legal beagle guns now. Thank you. Since we brought up guns. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Back to my, um, back to that episode we were doing talking about should they, where, they, where should they draw the line on the right to bear arms. You know, I think it's, oh no, uh, what's his name? What's the, what's the, what's the smart dude? Stephen smart, Hawking? No, 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 the younger one. He's a Bill Nye, Nye. Nye. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Nye. He's a young motherfucker. I mean, young is subjective, ain't it? It's in the eyes of the beholder. It's killing me right now, yo. We know his name. Is oh, Elon Musk. Oh, with the flamethrowers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that guy. Yeah, y'all, y'all. So y'all feel comfortable with motherfuckers just walking around with flamethrowers and shit? No. Hey, so you, y'all feel like that shit should be on the market? You know, what, you know what's crazy? I'm not comfortable with white people walking around with weapons. <laughs> Just them? Yes. So you, you'll, be full, you'll be cool for... for if like, I see a black dude walking around with a flamethrower, I'm not even looking twice. I probably wouldn't even notice it. That it's just so, weird. So crazy. <laughs> not like even if I knew it was a flamethrower, like the shit was lit. It was just on his back and it's lit. I see a little flame up here. <laughs> you would assume it was for a reason. They're like... Ain't nobody fucking with him today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's it. But if I see a white dude walking around, like, yo, I get uncomfortable when I see white people in trench coats. I mean, like, but that's like, we was, we was white kids. White people shoot up random people. Like, white people never kill the people they're supposed to kill. Like, fuck or you, they, mom. I'm going to shoot my school up. Or no, they, kill your mom. Or they'll, kill, <laughs> or they'll kill them first and then go on a rampage. Rarely. Yeah, no, it's about 50-50. Bruh. That's a bad ratio. <laughs> I said sometimes, motherfucker. That's a bad ass ratio. But uh, most mass murders kind of happen on some damn near no motive shit. Like for real. I never forget no, the, um, the the Monday girl. I never forget that shit. The Monday girl. The girl that uh, <laughs> it was a. Uh, I don't even know why I laugh because it's I'm not about funny. to say this about to be some shit that ain't supposed to be funny. This motherfucker laughed his ass. It's not off. funny, but it's just it's just God. it's just wild as shit. It was in the seventies or eighties. It was very it was very long time before my time type shit. But this girl came to school with a fucking sniper rifle, went to the building cl- closest to her school, got as high as she could, and started like sharp shooting motherfuckers. Like it was like she was a beast for her to be however old she was. <laughs> 
And um appraiser accuracy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so this shit a bolt action rifle too, like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. And she was got that. So How she, many people did she get? She got I think about six or seven. It was a, it was a nice little number. You know, at what point did she realize it's like, yo, I'm nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Oh shit. Brother, that first one was like, oh shit. Alright. The second one was like, yo, hold up. That third one. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And then the uh is fucked up. <laughs> they call her the Monday girl because um when the cops caught her, they uh, I, and I think it was she like, was the one that was like, cause it's Monday. Yeah. For real? Yeah. That's where that whole little saying came yeah. from. Was, Oh, but it wasn't because of because I don't like Mondays. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, I do okay. remember that. Yeah. Okay. Right. She only got six people? Yeah, she had to be bull action. You said 70s. Nah, still. 70s, 80s. That don't mean shit, yeah. though. That don't mean shit. I mean, like, for the public to get their hands on. Don't mean shit? Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, you talking about coming back from Vietnam with shit and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, once you bring up Vietnam, it's like, oh shit, that was like a real fucked up time period. Vietnam, well, in between Vietnam and crack. Well, that's extenuating circumstances. Was that it? bitch was just nuts. Yeah. I mean, like, that's all a of mass murder. I mean, like, yeah, I'm not saying they're not all fucked but a lot of them do have some type of, I mean, it might not be justified, but they do have a reason. What was up with the post office, dude? Why did he. I never, I, I, I was too young for that one. Yeah, me too. I was too young. Too. The nigga, the whole reason why going postal is a thing. Yeah, that happened in the 90s. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was too young. It was a postal worker. But that's why they, they always say it's a postal worker, so we never know. who. Was he a mailman? Was he... The truck driver? Yeah. Was he in there? Yeah, we, I, I don't know. I don't know. But going postal was a thing. Yeah, and that happened close to around about the same time as uh, the Unabomber got caught. That's another motherfucker. It took me a minute to figure out the whole thing. I just knew what the Unabomber looked like and what he did. Hey, remember the, uh, the DC sniper? Y'all know how they caught those motherfuckers? Sleeping in a van. No, but mainly, do you know, like, why they knew uh-huh. they were them, though? Like, how they knew, like, oh, mm-hmm. it might have been. These motherfuckers wrote a letter, and they profiled them from the letter they wrote. Dang. So if they didn't write that letter, the dude would You know what? I don't consider that in the same category. Oh no, that's serious. He killer. was trying to kill his nah. He was trying to kill his wife, and he was trying to cover that shit up. Yeah, but should have killed the wife first, and then. Nah, I'd have did it the same way. Kill a couple of randoms, and then pop her, and then kill a couple more randoms, and then fall off. Because you kill the wife first, automatically investigation starts. Who would want her dead? What's going on? Immediately, with her being the first one dead, that's the first thing they're gonna run to. Now that you're gonna kill her. And like a couple other people in the same day that are completely unrelated, it's still gonna have investigation mm. of her in the beginning. But I feel like he killed but way if too. You make her the second wave, then it's kind of like, oh shit, this same serial killer. Yeah, like start a trend and then throw that bitch in the trend and then keep it moving. moving. Yeah. And he, but he, I think they killed too many randoms for her to be the real target. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, I think they waited. Did they ever kill her? No, no. they oh, killed. Yeah, like, I think that was the bullshit. Yeah, that's, that's, part. that's where they fucked up. At. I yeah. think that was the bullshit part. That and getting cocky. Did you see them? They they made. Dude a movie. was smart though, man. Cause he he hey, thing you trying to get off for. Of yeah, I would have never thought of doing drive-bys with a sniper rifle. Yeah. I would have never thought of that shit. And a getaway driver. That shit is crazy. And then think about how beat down cars used to look. Like you don't see too many beat down cars no more, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's oh, yeah, real that's real. You real. And then so now you got beat down cars. So a car had a hole in the back. You ain't thinking shit of it. Nothing of it. Like oh, the emblem missing, nigga. Oh well, no of it, man. Don't nobody hear shit. Don't nobody see yeah. shit. I mean, often you hear a car go back, back in the day. Like, that shit normal as hell. And then you're like, fix that shit. Mm-hmm. Your backfire is. Yeah, fix that shit. And then that's going to keep moving. But, you know, man. Hey. Hey, did you ever watch that joint, uh, Mind Hunter? Okay. No. Are you scared of it too? No, uh uh-uh, uh. But I, I, I want to say Kevin tried to get me on it. His. His uh, presentation to it was like, yeah, no, I'm not fucking with that. What was his presentation? What's wrong with it? 
I don't know. I think hey, it, was like, ser- it was like serial killer mental, like being in their mind or some shit. Hey, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit interests me. I'm going to watch that shit. Hey, yo, you know who I am. That shit fucked me up. See, that's crazy, bro. For real. They read books on niggas and shit. That's too much. That's I watch much. documentaries. I know yeah. about some serial killer shit. That, yeah, shit like that shit fucked though. me up, nigga. But it was, it wasn't, because I think part of the reason it fucked me up because I binged this shit. And so. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. You overdosed on it. I think I OD'd on the shit. <laughs> this is when it snowed and we couldn't go nowhere, too. Oh, shit. I fucked around, was dreaming about that shit, and oh, waking see? up like, ah! <laughs> that's what I don't want, man. That's what I don't want, man. Just woke up pants off me, nigga. Fucking just. I don't mind that, because I almost wake up a lot of times. I can't do that. I got my baby beside me. I can't do that shit. Well, that shit happened to me. Still? I punched my pillow the other day on some 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 shit that I shouldn't even have brought home, but it came home with me. And I'm like, yeah, see? This is too much. You ain't <laughs> My boy is right here. You ain't kick him out yet? Who, my boy? Yeah. Man, I tried, man. You, you soft, man. You yeah, did. I'm soft. Oh, man. come on, booby. My wife don't want to go nowhere. She yeah. said it, but she don't want to go nowhere. See, I oh, just she, she did the whole, throw, she she threw the whole guilt on you type shit? Mm-hmm. She threw the guilt on you? No, it's like, yo, get him out of the bed. That's what I'm saying, like, yeah, though. It's like, she's trying to put she, it on she you. She put yeah. him out the bed, but, like, she won't go to sleep. And then by the time I nod, I wake up. He right there. And so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Cover this nigga up, man. Let's get back to this dream. You had a dream you was whooping somebody's ass. What happened? Yeah, it, it's just random fight dreams. Some shit I shouldn't have brought. Home. Do you have like regular <laughs> fight dreams where it's like you throw the punches in slow motion? Yeah, and, and niggas, niggas be, oh, I hate yeah. That shit, man. Okay. I hate that fucking shit. That's because I'm swinging. I'm, my hands is under the pillow or some shit because I, I sleep off to the side. My hands under the pillow and I can't. I can't. It won't connect. But. For some odd reason, the last two of them jace was. I was like, "Oh shit!" And then woke myself up because I was moving so much, and like literally, the pillow beside, beside him, like on the other side of me, and I was like, "Yeah, my boy head was like right there." It's like, yeah, nah. yeah. I don't move that much in my dreams. I do because I try to fight everything. I think I can knock. I think I can knock sense into every fucking thing. No, it doesn't work that way. But nigga, yeah, all my shit's like that. I don't know why they had a picture of you like punching a toaster and shit because the shit <laughs> won't act in right. What the fuck? <laughs> Two piece yeah, me goddamn. I even tried to beat up the toaster because you ain't you forgot to turn up. The toaster, <laughs> man, nigga. Like your wife turned it down because she don't want her shit that toasted and your shit come up still white. <laughs> 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 I have the fucked up dreams that you can't control. You'll never have dreams that you can't control? Rarely. That's some fun ones, though. But, like, that's the ones you wake up almost laughing at yourself. You know, I'm just like, not- even those turn up fucked up, though, because it'll be like, I'm just doing some shit. Like, that's what happened the other day. I fell asleep in the truck, and I woke up, like, jumped up like this. Motherfucker caught a shotgun to the face. Oh, shit. Fell asleep watching Godfather. <laughs> oh, see? That's, man, that's the hell. Man. Don't fall asleep on my hundred, nigga. So, like, some, nah, I won't fall asleep. You just gonna like die in your dream. <laughs> just, <laughs> that shit just Freddy gonna happen. Shit, nigga. Nah, see, I ain't got to... nah. It's hard for me to fall asleep on documentaries, but, like, those are the easiest things to find to fall asleep. Like, I tried to fall asleep on, um, I was watching The Hunt today. It's a, like, it's like Planet Earth. Oh, okay. Like, just animals hunting and shit. And I'm watching the shit, and, like, these motherfuckers was hunting the fuck up these wildebeest. They was in there biting their legs and shit. <laughs> this shit was interesting as a bitch. I couldn't fall asleep. You know, my favorite thing to watch is like when the rabbits be running away from predators and shit. Yo, and they, they be zigzagging. They be fucking them ankles up, goddammit. <laughs> Can't nobody fuck with them bunnies, especially when it be in the snow. So he white, so he got them mm-hmm. dipping high and shit. That was an episode up there. Mm-hmm. Y'all sitting there laughing at shit running for his goddamn life. Yeah, but at the same time, like, the one with the wildebeest, it was the cheetah was trying to eat the motherfucker. The cheetah got four cubs, and it was like, yeah, that's crazy impressive that these cubs is eight months old, and it's four of them, so she's a beast-ass hunter. And it was like, it'll be great if two of them make it to a year. It was like, either two or three of them make it to a year, and, like, that shit is rare. So I'm sitting there watching this shit, I'm like, man, I fucks with this cheetah. I hope she catch this bitch. 
I be both ways. I don't know why. I'm I'm just like that. I just be like, hey, you know what? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, basically, I'd be like, I want the motherfucker to get away, but at the same time, I don't want the other motherfucker to starve to death. So I'm like, I feel like both need to happen. Jesus. So it's like, <laughs> whichever one. I mean, I saw one joint that I was watching where uh, something, I don't, I don't know what it was, but, but it was like something was, it couldn't hunt. Like, it couldn't find no food. And it was like, getting, it was a bear. The bear couldn't find food. The bear was getting skinnier and skinnier. Yeah, see, I be wanting the bears to win. I think I seen that shit. I be wanting the bears to win because them motherfuckers don't be hunting like that. And then they got to deal with the ice and then they jump in the water trying to catch them seals. And I'm like, yo, I know that shit cold as a bitch. Like 78 degree pool water is cold to me. So I know them bitches is cold. You motherfuckers started losing all that weight, got skinny and mm -hmm. shit. Just didn't look, didn't look good. I felt bad for the bear. I felt bad for the bear, you know? Like, God damn it, Ben, why you ain't in more lives? <laughs> you wouldn't be so skinny in life. Jeez. Oh, my God. A circle of life, man. It's yeah, like it is. It, it sounds fucked up, though. Tell you that. Uh, requested by Mark Will, a.k.a. at Fresh, Amazing. since 85. That's a long ass it's, fucking name. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure there's an underscore somewhere in there. So, yeah, Marcus Wilson. Look the nigga up. Whatever. Uh, he wanted to know what y'all think about the reboot of Martin. Whoa. Were they making one? Time. Don't do yeah, it. They reboot Martin. Don't do it. Time. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It depends. Yeah, everybody's on board. Don't do it. Everybody. I mean, like, not Tommy because he's dead, but yeah, oh, everybody. Shit. Come this <laughs> Nigga, you know I won't talk about Tommy, man. How the Come fuck on, I'm supposed to know, man? God, Jesus shit. Christ. It was crazy. Dude, yo. Even if he was alive, hey, like, why? Yeah. <laughs> Like we got Tommy we, Holy Ghost in it. Like nigga, how I'm not talking about Tommy. Like Tommy would have been the number one person to object to it. <laughs> no, nah, it would be Cole because Cole don't like Martin. No, nah, I'm saying like the way you said that was like, but nah, I don't think they should do it. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, it's gonna be uh, terrible. Uh, Campbell, Miss Campbell. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they the one that broke the news. Who's they? Um, her and um, Tashina Arnold. Yeah, so. so that's like it's really happening. Oh, they've been joking about it for years. Oh, it's happening because they're rebooting everything. You know, they bringing back Roseanne. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm. I'm Full I'm house didn't get the whole. I want to see started. how Roseanne gonna go because Roseanne left. I don't know if y'all fuck with Roseanne like that, but Roseanne left off with the whole fucking the this bullshit. Shit was a dream. Yeah, that shit was shit. stupid. Like they won the lottery and some more shit, and this shit yeah. was a dream shit. I knew people that watched it. I didn't really. Yeah, watch it, but like I watched Martin, yeah, yeah, I watched Fresh Prince. Yeah, Roseanne. Did I see Roseanne really... when Roseanne was coming out. No, but oh, well, see, my thing was I was watching it. I was watching it when it was when it was out. Yeah, and, I, ain't, uh, I ain't keep up with it. Yeah, I stopped. Like, I stopped watching it like after they. Uh, I think after they switched Darlene is when I stopped watching. Yeah, it. I think that's when I stopped watching yeah. the show, show, show. But shit, it went on for a while after that though, for a long as well. But then it ended up being like some dream shit. So now I want to know what this Inception piece is going to be. I want to. I want to see. I want to see the beginning of it. Cause Fuller House me, is good. If it's good, I'm Stop gonna want to see my, it. My daughter loves it. It's it's good. Stop it's, it. It's, it's horribly funny. It's is. Stop it. I watched the first three episodes of the first season, and that shit was all over the place. Yeah, it is. But you, you gotta get. You gotta go deeper in it. You gotta go deeper in it. I don't have that kind of patience. I don't know how y'all no, do. No, it. And the first the first couple the first season was still stretch. No, I think my problem is is like I spend so much time watching movies and TV and shit when I was growing up that it's like I developed a keen taste for exactly how much good shit there is. So it's like I since I was young I watched when I, I watched like these movies that were really fucking good. So when like a, a terrible movie would come on, I'd be like, I know there's a good movie somewhere. I'm not wasting my time watching this shit. shit. Yeah, so when I get to a show that's like, okay, this shit is especially something that's on Netflix, like, okay, this is stupid. I know there is another good yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Like, there's some fantastic that. shit. Oh, yeah. There's some yeah, shit that's, that's, that's taking the place of some fantastic shit, shit I can find. Yeah, I can I understand it, but my, yeah, my daughter, I got my daughter loves it. They would just tune gave me a patience for it because then now I'm looking at it I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, that's dope. That's funny. And so I got to see pieces and parts and whole episodes of it later on. And it, it, it is. It's good. Girl, girl, um, girl meets world. Oh yeah, that I was all right. that shit was, that was fucking right. amazing, and they booted that shit. You know what? That wasn't Netflix. That was um. That was Disney. Disney. Yeah, I know. That was Disney. They, they booted, booted them before shit. Netflix even bought it. They booted this shit, man. 
Netflix ain't even get their hands all the way in it like that. Yeah, it That's was just they, like it was Disney and then it kind of. But they might continue it though. They nope. they got the ability it's to continue it. It just been too long. They ain't. Yeah, man, was this shit was like a year. Yeah, man. They ain't thinking about this. Too Corey Matthews, man. Oh, but uh, back to Martin. Do y'all think they gonna fuck it up? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, how are you? How are you already? So, uh, what's funny now? Well, to Sheena Arnold still funny. We no, I don't know. I ain't saying who's funny. I'm just saying like. The oh, like, funny now is the dry funny, the oh, yeah. the the yeah, they're oh, not gonna be okay. able to be yeah, funny. You know they're not gonna saying? be able to be them, they're gonna clown too hard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they're gonna try too hard. It's, it's because gonna, now everything's so sensitive. Yeah. You can't sit there and talk about motherfuckers. You mad can't at sit Chappelle. there and talk about Pam Butt no more. It's too sensitive stuff. Well, I don't think that's yeah. gonna be a problem. No, I'm just yeah, I'm just no, but I mean I don't think the sensitive now is body shaming and shit. No, 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 no I don't think the sensitivity is gonna be a problem. I think the problem's gonna be a uh, the um they don't, they're not going to know how to handle the nostalgia. Like, they're not going to really know how to present the old as the new and how to morph it. Yeah, they come out with a sequel within five years of a movie, and it ends up being shit. Like, I hate, like, a, a movie comes out, and it's amazing, and then they make a sequel just based on the fact that the first one was amazing. Like, when they first made the first one, there was no intention of keeping it going, but it did so great that now they make a sequel, and those a lot of times turn out to be shit. Yeah, and that's what I feel like this, this is. is yeah, because so many reboots are. Coming I mean, out. I'm like I want it to be funny. I'm gonna want the nostalgic feeling and shit. And if it is funny, I'm gonna love it. But I ain't got no hopes for it. I don't want to see it because I'd rather them not tarnish it. My thing was I wanted to. I want to see it, but I want it to be totally different. I want them to like, really get together and be like, okay, how will we do this show if it came out now? Because Detroit's not the same. So what are they really going to do with They left Detroit. Yeah, they went to L.A. Well, yeah. part of Martin and Gina supposedly went to L.A. Then... Because the shit been off the air for what, like 20-something 20 20, years? I mean, shit pushing 25 or something like that. I ain't even no 25 fucking years y'all yeah no because i've been i was sitting no. down looking at has it been 25 years bro we'll put us in single digits no that's yeah. not has 25. it been 20 has it been 20 yeah maybe 20 maybe i don't think not it's been 25 20. fucking years okay i don't know what I year that what year so fucking much what year did the super nintendo come out 90 88 super nintendo no, su- super nintendo no. <laughs> 92 i want to say so 91. Or 91 or 90. It might have been 90. I don't remember. So 1991 was the first season of Martin. Martin had five seasons, so 91, 92, 92, 92. So, yeah, about. Because Biggie was in it, so it had to be at least 95, 96. Yeah, 96 is probably the last year then. 96, 97, probably the last year. 96. Right, we gotta see. No, come about, about, 20, about 20 bad. years. 96. Uh, 96. 96. So, right, about yeah, 20 years. I don't, I don't know when it, because I, yeah. I didn't pay attention to what was a new episode and what was a rerun. Like, I just, I watched them and they all blended together and, like, some of them was, ended up being, I haven't seen this one before, but it ain't new. It's actually been off about 20 years. So, I'm saying a lot, sh- a lot of shit can happen in 20 years. Mm-hmm. So, I think they should kind of just pick up where they like where it would be if that show would have continued throughout all the years start now it's almost like real life like if we recorded ourselves 20 years ago and stopped and then started recording again yeah you know what I'm saying that's why yeah, like a whole lot can happen in 20 years like they can go ahead and do the whole Martin and Gina broke up type shit they can they can do all that whatever would have happened just, I don't know I, I don't want to I just, I just feel like for some reason I feel like there's going to be a, a real cheesy cameo from bro man for no goddamn reason yeah, they, they oh yeah, all that you know stuff. What I'm be, I feel like all that stuff. I think it's gonna be gonna real. Like it is like crazy old people. First episode of ninety two. Oh, ninety two. Oh, okay. And it went to ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's twenty one years. That's what I see right now. Again, yeah, somebody said outside. something about um, Fresh Brents too, and threw the idea of Will Smith of instead of doing an actual like real life joint, do a cartoon. He reposted that too. Yeah, he's like, I never thought. Of, yeah, he's like, I never thought of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why the fuck does Instagram keep telling me that he's posting videos? Does that do that to you too? Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Like, I'm getting tired of Instagram. They're recommending shit to me 
it's not chronological order. Like, so yeah, yeah, that recommend shit, they're not chronological. But the Will Smith thing is only Will Smith. It doesn't do that for anybody else that posts videos. Oh, he getting a lot of hype though, cause he just made his profile not too long ago. That's true. Cause he's like starting a YouTube channel and some more shit. Yeah, pe people are really fucking with him now. All right, uh, another Instagram question we got was from uh, Tone Carter. Who also does the uh, theme song for We Ain't No Stupids. He just wants us to, as a topic, discuss the uh, Virginia rap scene. Y'all following anybody local? Following, no. Following, no. I heard of a couple, but not following. So who, who's hot? I don't, I don't, I don't know. You all don't I know, know is what little, <laughs> nigga, little niggas tell me. Little nigga tell me. That's all I know. Oh, so you basically you just know the hey man my homeboy spit yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty listen. much it <laughs> that's pretty much it and I don't know if if like big time yeah, why is that well, I'm, I'm, I was always trying to figure out why is the uh, Virginia hip hop heads don't listen to Virginia hip hop well what's what's happening I mean Pusha T is considered Virginia hip hop and I'm highly excited for that man to drop yeah, an album this year yeah but motherfuckers won't listen to Pusha T until he went national though I mean I've been listening while to he was he was local. Wasn't well, he? shit, what year was that? 2001 when Clips came out? Clips. Yeah, I've been fucking with him since Clips. I mean, back then I was just too young. Oh, too. yeah, they were, they were national then. Yeah, it was national. But, I mean, like. Last time we saw Lips? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Y'all can say that. But because I recorded they shit on tape because they were playing it and I didn't know who the fuck they were. I'm like, yeah. who the fuck is these niggas? But I had their song because them Golden Tears, uh, uh, Wu Syndicate. I, I was listening to. to mm -hmm. To Virginia for yeah. a while, but um, oh, damn, Golden Tears, Blue Syndicate, shit. I mean, back then we didn't have, or I didn't have the, the outlets that I have now to be able to look people up and shit. Like there was no SoundCloud twenty something fucking years ago. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm just such a fiend. I was finding motherfuckers. Who you? I mean, my options was limited based on. My so, own but life. I know one dude. Go ahead, shoot your J though. No, but like I'm gonna stay in that topic for a little bit more. Like, but I mean, like, but as far as like now, so like, why now that we now that we have SoundCloud and everything, as Virginia hip hop heads, what's keeping y'all from Virginia hip hop? I mean, for me, it's real hard for me to get into somebody new. Like I've been saying, it's like the past couple of years, I would have to be listening to someone that I listen to on something like Spotify. Or Pandora or whatever, like where I'm listening to, you know, this artist profile page, and then someone else will come up. I'm like, oh shit, this is dope. Who the fuck is this? Never heard of this. Oh shit, new person. Look him up. And that's kind of how I get my shit. As far as what I've seen online, not much. I mean, it's the people that push a T push and promote. But some of the shit I kind of fuck with, some of the shit I don't. And when you don't fuck with it, they call you a hater. So, what about you? you uh... I'm, I guess I'm not that deep into the internet. I guess, but I, shit ain't blew by me yet. That's caught my ear enough to to keep to keep listening to. A lot of the shit that I hear these days is following the corporate industry template, the trend of the mumble rap, sing rap, auto tune rap type shit. Well, that's nothing about Virginia. The I don't know any Virginia rappers. Like I said, I don't know any. Yeah. Or I don't know of any that rap like, like how we was talking about like Davies. Like we don't got no one like that that I know of. If I had someone like that, I'd listen to him. I gotta hear Davies. But if I gotta I hear someone like Travis Scott, I don't hear that shit. I don't know what Davies sounds like. But um, that was a problem for a very long time, like especially like early two thousands, as far as like. For some reason, Virginia rappers just wanted to sound like whoever the fuck was hot. Like when Wu was hot, that's when everybody was rapping like Wu. And then when Dipset yeah, was hot, everybody was rapping like Dipset. They sound. They, yeah. they just worried about like, oh shit, this is what's hot. Let me sound like yeah. that, and I can but get hot too. It's like probably I say starting around about 2008, it stopped being like that because now it's like very the rap scene in Virginia is very versatile now. So it's like it's mad lyricists around where it's just like okay, because I've got to the point where I don't. I don't know what niggas need to do. That's why I asked you guys, like, I got to get it from a, from the perspective of two guys that I know are hip-hop heads and have all this hip-hop at your fingertips and just, like, why not why not there? Because I don't know what to say to these guys as far as, like, I don't... I, a part of the reason that I, like, stopped rapping because I'm like, okay, these guys are working hard and they're beasts. Like, 
these motherfuckers are lyricists to like a whole nother level. Like everything about these guys are like great, but they're not on the fuck I'm going to. You know what I'm saying? It's like so you got people like Soprano, Super Dope, got Young X makes great music. Um, I ain't no X, X make music. X makes great music, nigga. But then he got that battle rap cursed in on top of that. No, uh, I've heard of Young I mean, X. X that, that, that might be why. Yeah. Battle rap. And uh, I'm skeptical of battle rappers making songs too. Surf, surf, surf got good shit. Yeah, surf do good. But um, and Amir Drivers, he's dope. So it was like a lot of fame people. I don't. I think the motherfucker part of a group or some shit. But it was like a lot of motherfuckers. It's like crazy dope, but people just aren't. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't think like I don't dig deep into it. So if something come across my way, I'm like okay. But then at the same time, it has to be some type of cosign, or I have to accidentally hear it. To not say the cosign, because I mean, well, yeah, no, like for instance, good like or bad, yeah, good or bad. Like, like if Push a T cosigns some shit, I'm gonna listen to it, give it a quick listen, and then like, all right. So, so what, the co- so so okay, what he's saying with the cosign, that's something that you would feel like would help too. Is like you need. Th- I don't need. A, I mean, I just need, need somebody to bring about. Like, yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah, just, that, that's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'll work. That's a cosign. I mean, that's what I consider a cosign. You don't have to be a famous person to be cosign. But like, if you say, "Yo, listen to this," that's a cosign. No, I mean, they ain't gotta be famous. You know it's it's gotta be someone that I listen to already has to cosign it. Like, they ain't got to, but I'm saying that's one way that I hear. It. Or if I just accidentally hear it, oh. I'm like, "Yo, this shit dope." So, like, is um, Breeze Barker? That's the young boy, Chris. I did like his fucking album, right. right? And his shit was okay. He he rapped. You know what I'm saying? And he raps now. All the other like uh, um. I like him better than Young Money On. Push a T, co-sign Young Money On. Right. Young Money On, dope, man. I don't know why niggas don't like Young he Money has, On. He has a nice look. So I, I, he's, if you listen to him and I listen to him, we can have these funny conversations. Because, nigga, I sell chicken, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can, you know what I'm saying? That's I mean, how I, can, I feel I like. I tolerate the shit. Yon's cool if somebody else listens to Yon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But like, so you saying you can listen to him if he's on because somebody no, else is playing it's him? Like, or? I can listen to, but it ain't nothing I'm gonna play in my car by myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. and it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing that I'm I'm putting my headphones while I'm 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 working yeah, out see, or nothing. The style like that. of it ain't. It's it's nothing like that. But I'm not gonna shit on his, his music. I'm not gonna shit on it like that. But then you got Young Crazy. I don't know if you heard of him. Yeah, I don't. He be with Breeze, don't he? They, yeah. I think they just posted some shit the other day. Right. So, young, this all this young so boy, what? young boy Chris at work. Well, he ain't even young. The nigga Chris at work. You know what I'm saying? He be putting me on because he rolled with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, Young Crazy got a lot of buzz. And I heard one song and I didn't really catch the, it's, the hoopla. I didn't. What's his, what's his other young boy? I can't fucking think of his name, though. That, it, I can't his see. name play a big part, too. Because if I see somebody named, like. I mean, because everybody names. Don't make sense now. Yeah. Anyway, if your name is start with Lil, but it or never, young, it, I'm yeah, be it, it never makes sense. Saying. But we're not that deep into to try to figure out what they yeah, name really mean. Yeah, because the name shit is weird. I think that's why, that like much. Ghostface, is like what? But now we we got the explanation no, and all of it. Though. No, <laughs> don't, no, don't I'm just saying that, though. The if the nigga call itself Young Ghostface, it's like, nah. You, if I see somebody call himself Young Ghostface, and yo, you disrespectful. Ah, he might, he might kill it. I'm, but automatically, my first thought is going to be you disrespectful. No, and I'm going to listen to it. My first thought is you better be fucking nice. Yeah. Man. You better. No, yeah. But before, I, before this like leaves my brain, guys, I, I, all right, so we, we talked about Young Money Yon. How did Young Money Yon come across your ear? Because you know, I remember y'all were saying that you guys need to to hear it. And it's like not coming to y'all. So I guess oh. it's, it's, we got one that we don't have any ties to Young Money Yon. See, the radio play local shit on Sundays. Sunday nights. Mm-hmm. That's how I first heard of him. I heard his name through the radio, but then it didn't start clicking until I guess I want to something went down, some dumb shit went down, and uh, was it the Facebook shit? Because he do got a couple songs that's like funny as hell. Uh, the, like you gotta the be poppy, in the mood. The poppy shit. Yeah, let's yeah, go see poppy. That was his, poppy. I think I think that was the shit with Pusha yeah. T. Yeah, let's go see Pusha. poppy. I, I heard that shit. I heard that shit a lot. So I heard that shit a lot. That shit was whack, but it was kind of hot. I heard that hey shit man, that was my shit, yo. I love yeah, it. It was, <laughs> that shit was, was cold blooded. Like, I heard man. that shit a lot. So I, I, it is mad offensive too. Like, <laughs> like um, yeah, I 
then some something else popped up. It ended up being some Facebook shit. That's what kind of brought him back up again. Because that Let's Go See Poppy shit was a minute ago. Yeah, about two, three years ago. That shit sounded hot. That shit was, was like corny as fuck, but that shit did sound hot as a bitch. Then he did. He did drop some shit. Well, but I he had that uh, the bread and peanut butter joint. That shit was I'm from the gutter. That's my first time here. Dinner, that was, I think that was my first time here. That's my first time here. Yeah, that shit was tough. I probably got to re that one. I probably got to re that one. But, I mean, he got, he got shit now. Now, to, oh, this, he did. have you seen an album? No. I don't look for his shit. Like, I, that that whole... I mean, but even if it back... Especially now when the shit just... A button click. Like, it ain't never... I ain't never... It ain't never go by me. But then I'm not digging for... Like, but I mean, but, but the, reason like I, I got, the reason I ask y'all that because I'm gonna like, all right, so you, on some, it's kind of like on some getting advice from guys like you guys. It was like from this directly from the consumer, since other guys aren't passing your ear. It's like, well, how did he pass your ear? So you guys are saying basically he was on radio. Well, if I hadn't seen it, you know, he'd be with Pusha T. But that was the times when I was listening to the radio. Like now, I don't listen to the radio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, now I definitely don't listen to the radio. So how is guys going to get through? Um, I really, that's a good ass goddamn question, though. But I'm able to dodge man. certain shit. Like, for instance, Migos just dropped some shit. I haven't seen it online. I mean, I see people talking about the shit here I and there. I see it was but, like a title. Yeah, so, and I mean, yeah, I've seen it like on like, Spotify and shit, but like it's man. not being pushed in my face outside of the radio. But the, see, and that's what's bugging me is like it's so much like I mean like really good quality, high quality shit like Jay Easy and uh, Problem Son Diada. I can't pronounce okay. it. Problem Child, goddamn it. They uh, put a joint together called Eclipse. That whole shit bang. Problem the rap problem child. Yeah, oh, he changed problem. his name to Problem Son to some shit I can't pronounce. This oh. what just like oh, the young boy whose name I was like I got his name I can picture the name but I can't I've never been able to pronounce. It. I think it's like Young Luigi or some shit like that. I don't see, know. I'd give G Easy a chance just based on. the accident because he cut the radio on one day in the work truck and we heard a song and was I was like, like oh shit we trying, yeah we were trying to figure out who the fuck it was did. and it was him and it pitched the shit out your ear and it was like oh, but then on another note his song right now with cardi b and Nicki yeah. minaj and them i don't fuck with that shit yeah, but i mean it sounds good like whatever like it's it fits what's going what's on crazy? right now you, you listen to his album though right yeah that album is like that that what was it September November what was that song called Summer in December Summer, yeah, December. Summer in December some shit like that yeah that that album mm. damn near mm -hmm. just go with that but um who is out here let's say for instance who got a YouTube channel for Virginia rappers good question. yeah there's no real platform hold on no I mean it might be one no, I just it's not. it's not it's just who has that cause these niggas is making videos I tell you that yeah. These niggas is making videos like a motherfucker. Dude, Chris showed me a video all the fucking time. These mm -hmm. niggas is making video and Dub Yeah, at least Dub doing week. some of them. Burn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He doing some of them. So it's like who is on, the um, who, VIP, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. Who is the where is the site or where is the YouTube channel where this shit is at? Cuz if you had a YouTube channel for this shit It'd be all Gucci bandana. I'd you know what's crazy? Like every time I have this conversation about the Virginia music scene, it always kind of boils down to unity. Like, well, fuck what you think? You can't unite. That's that Seven City shit. That's what I'm saying. saying. No, ain't nobody pushing the shit. But no, but that's that Seven but City shit. But it's show you a video no, at least every week. It's it's being it's yeah. being pushed like motherfuckers. It's just I don't know. I, get, like, I think because my but they're not is, pushing it hard. They pushing yeah. it to the people that's yeah, preach to the choir. To the yeah, preach to yeah. the choir. Yeah, yeah. So those people ain't saying. pushing, or they're not pushing it outside of their boundaries and shit, and it just ain't. And because I mean, like, I'm awesome. I don't I don't know what to do. Like, Give I mean, me a YouTube channel where these dudes are dropping their junk. They not looking for ducats for it because obviously this is going to be an issue. They're not looking for ducats for it. They're just looking for promotion. Give me this YouTube channel that has 757 all on it. Go. And it has to be a certain quality of shit. Or shit, even Go. easier, just drop a hashtag for it. Me personally, the, I need a YouTube nah, channel. The YouTube channel is a better idea. A hashtag would I mean, yeah, no, nah, that be better. Hashtag YouTube works channel. too. But give me a YouTube channel. Y'all give them videos up. Once y'all. Facebook page, YouTube whatever. channel. That works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get these videos up. 
tag the video. Just make sure the channel tags the video to your 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 channel, whatever you do on yours also. But but see, like the reason I say hashtag is, is like, for instance, if I'm one of those, like for instance, Chris, if if he was yeah, fucking see, with, I'm a YouTuber. Now, yeah, like if he hashtag. if he was fucking with, like I don't even know if he fuck with Twitter, or Instagram, and shit like that. But he could just post a clip and then boom, put a little hashtag out. You click the hashtag, it, it's a search basically. That's what a hashtag is. It's a fucking search. So you click the joint and you get everything that was tagged with that same tag. Hey, Booby, it's a goddamn shame that it's 2018 and he still has to explain to you what a hashtag is. You gotta get on your shit. Yeah. Man. yeah. You gotta. You gotta. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if it was a search, but I know the hashtag thing is a thing. It's like whatever it is. The reason it's a hashtag is basically because if you click a hashtag, everything that has it with it is yeah. up there. Yeah. Yeah. If I post something with a hashtag, you'll see that. If you post something with yeah. that hashtag, you'll see that. I think. I, I think I just might have to do that. I'm going to start a fucking Instagram page of just Virginia music videos just to promote motherfuckers. See how many followers. That's why I say get. hashtag would be the easiest because, like, do the 757. But shit, matter of fact, just erase all this. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to fuck up this idea to get stolen. I want to get stolen because yeah, I ain't the right one to do that shit because if I start a fucking page, it's going to get like five followers and I'm going to just be. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Let me know. That's a great idea for us. Uh, I mean, it, 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 I swear, it, it, this shit doesn't make any sense. Cause I mean, like, every Chase Moore is another dope one. We're just like, you just keep Vance, forget about Sean Moore. Of course, Tone Carter, the one that did our mm -hmm. um, intro. It's just like so much talent, like a stupid amount making quality music. And it's like, what the fuck? How is nobody, how am I the only one that knows these guys? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I remember one time you got into my car and I was playing um, J.E.'s and you was like, yo, what the fuck is this? But the problem was the shit was fucked up. So it was like I had, I went on to a, a battle rap site, I mean, a battle rap group that was a local battle rap group, and I said, hey, man, y'all post y'all music and I'm going to download it. So I just downloaded a whole bunch of shit because everybody was posting links. And I was just mm -hmm. listening to everything one by one, but his download link was fucked up, so I didn't know who it was. It was just track one, track two. It was like unknown artist, yeah, track one, track two, that. track three. I didn't know, know who it was. I was like, yo, all I know is rollers on one of these tracks. So, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? That's all I know. And um, the shit was, I think it was uh, Yanestro or Yanestro, whatever the fuck. I can't pronounce that shit, but I think it was part two. And uh, there's three of them, and all three of them dope. But yeah, man. And that's, I forgot, no, that's, that's another part. It was like niggas be making themselves hard to find. And it'd be all over the place. Like, I feel like. If you ain't known, I feel like all your shit should be, like, like accessible. Like, I should be able to just type some shit in. Like, if you got a project out, it should be, like, Google Play, iTunes. All right, you know what I'm for, for y'all young folks that don't understand underground, underground don't mean hard to reach. It just means you. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't famous. <laughs> That's pretty Basically. much it. But underground people are the, the, the people. You can find they shit everywhere. It was once you get tapped into the underground, the underground was like, oh, his shit here, his shit there, his shit there, his shit there. It was, it was, they had sites and shit before your main artist had sites. That was underground. I think the um, do-it-yourself shit is kind of like it's helped certain people individually, but I think it hurt as a whole because it's like nobody – because that's why it's like the, your your idea for the YouTube page works so well because it's like part of the problem is everybody's just doing their own thing and putting their own shit on their own shit. Yeah. And it's like everything's separated. So it's like there's – it's it's hard to find shit because it's like I'm looking for certain motherfuckers music videos. I'm like I know this music video exists. I'm on YouTube. Where's this fucking video? But it's taking me forever to fucking find it because mm -hmm. there's nowhere to just go definitively. Like boom, let me search because I know it's here. I just gotta type in niggas' names and titles of the songs and hope I find it. And the shit, then niggas be having like they, like a lot of times the artists themselves don't understand how YouTube works and shit. So they be having like three or four pages because they keep forgetting their passwords and shit. Yeah. Then the motherfucking then you got sometimes where it's like the dudes that direct the videos are the ones to upload the videos. Right, and then it's like if you not following the dudes that's directing the videos and he's doing everything else too. On top, yeah. It's just so he just like, you know what I'm saying, and like you said, instead he of videos, he take pictures, he do everything. Yeah, and instead of him fucking um, just uploading shit that he think is hot, he just uploading the shit that he was paid to do. So it's like you know what I'm saying. So yeah, so I'm really I'm really feeling that idea of having a page of. 
I'm gonna just post the shit that I like, the shit that I think is good. Yeah, y'all promote the page, y'all promote y'all page. It is it it'll reciprocate. Yeah. It will. Mm-hmm. Word up. All right, then we got the J L D asked a question about the Facebook video that's going around, but neither none of us have seen it and none of us wanna see it, so yeah. Sorry, Carl. Cool. <laughs> Alright, uh. No, not yet, man. What the fuck? What episode you on? The last one of this mid. You caught up? Crisis. Yeah, I'm all caught up. Jeez. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I feel episode, bad. He caught the fuck up. I'm way behind. I'm it's sorry. Like four fucking months, man. What's up? Sorry, shit. man. It didn't grab me by the nuts this it's, year. It's gonna. But you know what's crazy, though? I was about this last couple seasons of uh, Walking Dead. Be like, man, this shit whack. Like the last three seasons, I've been saying this shit whack. But it's like they're very good if you binge them. Like if you just if you like would have binge the whole season, like you wait and just binge it, it's good. But it's like watching that shit week to week. You're like, man, yeah, fuck this dumb ass like, shit. Was the only thing with everything. I hate watching shows one at a time. Like how you got me watching The Shine now. Shit pisses me the fuck off. You watched the episode four? Yes. That shit was good, though. But yeah, I watched the I first understand. two, and then last week I watched number three, and then I'm waiting until tomorrow night to download number four. I'm like, yo, oh, shit. you ain't watched four yet? No, nah, whatever. I'm caught up. Whatever one comes on tomorrow. Oh, the tomorrow one on five, 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 five. Oh, that's five? Well, yeah. 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 That shit good, though, Yeah, that shit good as a bit. That shit's in the fucking yeah, way. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is. I don't think I got another show with me, man. Yeah, you Not right now. The you want to watch the show. Really? I, yes. I, I feel like this is gonna be the wire. Did you watch Snowfall? Nah, I couldn't. You gotta watch Snowfall. Fuck me, yeah, fuck the shy. Watch Snowfall. You gotta watch Snowfall. Watch Snowfall. That's, that's out. That's yeah, done. You can yeah, binge that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can binge. I mean, it ain't Snowfall. done. Season one is done. You can watch that. That's great. That shit. That shit. Yeah. Watch Snowfall. If I got a bootleg, I ain't watching it. Cause that's too much. It's too much work, man. What, do you mean, what you mean bootleg? You got a Samsung. I can give you the site. Yeah, man. Jeez. It's not even a site. It's an app. Yeah, it's easy access. You got it, man. It's with the condom on and everything. I'm good. Yeah. You don't even want no condoms. It's an app. This ain't no condom. It's clean. Dang. It's the little sex doll. I'll be all right. No, you won't. You got to watch. Dude, Snowfall at least. <laughs> Snow, you, you have to watch Snowfall. I get it. Snow, man, dude. You know you know motherfucker yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, it's, say it's on FX, right? It is. Right, it's an FX show. I'll watch it. Lying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the website got it on some shit. Like if you got F, if you subscribe to FX, you can watch FX all of it. FX got an app on demand. FX on demand. FX on demand. They gotta be in demand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. FX man. on demand. You might could. Motherfucker, yeah. you got a Samsung? I can give you the app. I don't. I don't like it. I know what you're talking about. People don't try to give me that shit now. I don't, I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? What's not to like? I will talk about it later. I got two apps. If you don't like one, you don't like the other. I don't like the idea. Don't it's pump not. it to him. Pump it Hey, look, no means no. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag no not again. Hashtag <laughs> keep your hands off me. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> unknown no doesn't constitute a no. Jeez <laughs> Louise. All right. Well, uh. This dude. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube where all of our episodes are cataloged. Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes. Shit. <laughs> Google Play. Leave a uh, comment and a rating. Hey, that makes a difference. Shut the fuck. That makes a difference. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this has been another episode of <laughs> We, we Ain't No, no stupids, stupids and We Out. Yes, sir. Deuces. Deuces. Get to the money. Fucking these hoes, hopping, sipping that drink. I'm way too thrown, hopping, hitting these licks. I'ma hit a few more, hopping, winning. I'm winning, I'm winning. They say I've been on the road. Vacation enough, I was playing too much. I free agent it up on Jamaican. I puff rolling papers, I'm stuck. By agar my dosi, I made it get up. I've been caking enough, like I'm baking too much. And my apron is yuck. They like save me a cut, but the way it's set up, these clippers ain't free and that blueprint is due. I can't save you a cut. They be hating too much. You mighty mouth niggas be saying too much. Low key when I'm driving that red, white, and blue. When them boys in that blue try and patriot you up. I don't play with them cuffs. Uh that's that shit I don't like. I was G before likes on IG, you got likes. Cause you feeding them hype. And they greedy tonight, you can't see what I sight. But I sight what you see. Like I'm Gucci Yoli, I got Gucci and V. 
E R S to the ace. Or that's A C and E shit is A B and C. Some don't make it to T. Some don't make it to G. Daddy put him in mama, and she been in for daddy. They created the G. That creation was me, and I got it on lock. I created the key, and my sign is a Pisces. And them bitches got scales Tryna weigh me a key that was D-O-P-E Don't you P-O the G Cause she can get dirty, gets P-O's and P I'm the guy to this shit That make you P-O-P-E's uh. To the money, getting to the money. Fucking these hoes, hopping, sipping that drink. I'm way too thrown, hopping, hitting these licks. I'ma hit a few more, hopping. Winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. They say I've been on the road, whoa.